Okay, I'm recording the very first part of this video with my iPhone because my other cameras are currently down here in my Nanit case. And uh, let me show you what I brought on this trip. So this is my hard case. It's a Nanuk 950. Absolutely love this case. After buying a Nanuk, I honestly don't know that I will ever buy a Pelican case again. I've been really happy with this one. I got the one with all of the padded dividers so I can customize the orientation there. And the first thing that I'll show you in this case is what I'm using as my secondary camera for this trip. And that is the Sony a7c and right now on that camera i have the sony 10 to 18 f4 which is actually an aps-c lens but uh watch some videos on this if you're interested in a wide angle lens because it's possible to use it on full frame even without the the aps-c mode turned on okay i've now switched to the sony a7c so there should be a little improvement in quality there I'll start over on this side. I have the Rode VideoMic Go 2 along with the Rode WS12 DeadCat. Uh, does pretty well in my testing with cutting out wind, although it's been super windy today. I think even a little too windy for this. So uh, the other thing I have in here is the Sony f1.8 20 millimeter lens. I originally was not going to bring this, but it's supposed to be super clear tonight, and I'm thinking about doing some uh, night time lapse, so I figured this would be my best option for astrophotography. So brought that lens as well. In this pocket, I have the Luxly Fiddle LED light along with the soft cover, just in case I want to record anything at night. Also in this pocket, uh, extra Sony caps for lenses and bodies. And then I have the Zoom H1N along with the Dead Cat. Basically just using this if I want to record any ambient sounds. Uh, the only thing that I have already pulled out of this case is the Tentacle Sync Track E. That's a 32-bit float recorder. And that's what the, uh, the audio that you're hearing right now is being recorded on. And I'm using the lavalier microphone that comes with that recorder. Also in this case, I have an old set of Bose earbuds, basically just for monitoring audio if need be. I have the Hilltop Pax Dyneema battery case. It's uh, red on one side, green on the other, has a little divider. So you have basically two pockets and you can keep dead and charged batteries separated. The next thing I have in here is the GoPro Hero 10. I've been trying to move away from using action cams as much in my videos, but when you need, you know, waterproof shots and things like that, there's really no replacement for them. So I do have the Hero 10 with me. I also have some more batteries in here for the A7C and my, my other main camera there. So these are the, uh, the Sony batteries in the Peter McKinnon carrying case. And then we get to what is my main camera for this trip. That is the Sony a7 IV. And right now, mounted on that body, I have what is quickly becoming my favorite lens, which is the Tamron 28-200. to Really love that lens really excellent image quality, way better than what I expected when I purchased that lens. Uh, I'll go ahead and move back here. I have the Oban CTT 1000, which is really a, a table tripod, but this is what I'm gonna be using primarily on my secondary camera to get little B-roll clips while I'm filming with my main camera. I also have the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod and down here in this case this is my motorized slider that's the iFootage Shark Slider Nano and I originally was not planning to bring a slider but for uh, for those night time lapses I, I think I really want to try doing a motorized slider night time lapse shot so I brought the shark slider nano for that one i also brought this is a a plate clip 
pretty basic. On this side, this is a case that I consider this my go case for any video shoots. It just has a bunch of miscellaneous cables here, a Leatherman multi-tool, audio cables, some uh, bongo cables, adapters, little miscellaneous things that, you know, when you leave the house and you forgot to bring something, hopefully I have whatever I need in here to keep going. Next over here, this is the Edelkrone Flex Tilt Head Pro. I love this head. I use it all the time on the tripod at home. I brought it on this trip because that's the head that I'm probably gonna use on the slider when I'm doing time-lapse shots. Over here, this is, uh, I have the tripod head adapter here that goes on the uh, Peak Design travel tripod and I have this Oban TVH108, very tiny fluid head, so I can put a fluid head on the Peak Design travel tripod. And in my testing with it, this works pretty well if I'm using the Tamron 28 to 200, but for longer focal lengths, uh, it doesn't quite cut it. So I will show you the other tripod that I brought in just a second. Speaking of tripods, I brought this little table tripod just in case I need it. Really love this little thing, the Cubo tripod. I've talked about this before. And finally, underneath this Dom key wrap, just for protection, I rented this giant lens for this trip. This is the Sigma 150 to 600 for the Sony E-mount. I've been considering purchasing this lens, but I kind of wanted to test it out first to see how it does and see if I actually think that I would use it often enough to justify buying it. So I rented this from Borrow Lenses specifically for this trip and to kind of take it for a test drive and see if it's worth purchasing in the future. That is everything that I have in the camera case. Let me show you, I have a few things already thrown in the gear storage tent over here. This is the camera backpack that I brought so that I can uh, carry an extra lens and some other camera gear with me when I'm day hiking around. This is the Low Pro Photo Sport. I think it's the 250, 240, something like that. I'll place it on the screen and I'll place a link in the description if you're interested in it. But that's the, the camera backpack that I brought. And this is the giant tripod and fluid head that I brought for using with the 150 to 600. It's the Robus, if I remember correctly, it's the RC8860 carbon fiber tripod and the Manfrotto Classic MVH502AH fluid head. So that is everything that I brought photo and video wise on this trip. You probably came here because you already saw the full video of this trip, but just in case you did not, you can click the little video below me to see it. And thank you for watching.